the warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the thrift of warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, BigSquareRoadRoad.com With your morning horn of Z's, your sip of chaga coffee No, there's no chaga in this one Um, I forgot my chaga at home it's Valentine's Day, so I took the wife out to a lovely spot on the beach where we can hang out and be romantic, I guess. Is that the idea? With our dog. Um, I want to talk briefly about silver. If you guys haven't seen my discussion, haven't seen my discussion yet with um, the men, Andy Sheckman and Jean-Claude, over at Beyond Mystic 2 or 3. Beyond Mystic 3. Go check it out. And I, I'm going to play for you a little part that just came to me about why right now is the greatest time to buy silver in the last 170 years. So listen up, and then I'll talk about where we are as far as what's going on. I, I, I think I just want to leave you with this. Um, I think right now, and this I'm going to tell you why I think that, right now is the number one best time to buy silver in the past 170 years. The main reason is you won't have to wait long. We have a situation where the commercial shorts are still short. They have to close out those shorts at some point. But now we have something that has been laid on top of that short position, and that is an 800 million ounce lease silver that needs to go back to J.P. Morgan. Now, mind you, I think it was 30 million ounces were delivered from Bank of America to J.P. Morgan last um, in, I think it was the December delivery month. Yeah. These leases that JP or that uh, B of A took out, they're all less than one year. This started 18 months ago. So now is the delivery time. Not only are they going to be competing for silver bars from you and me and, and all of us, they're going to be competing for silver bars from uh, what's that company called? Um, uh, that the company that bought one third of SLV last year, um, private advisors, uh, advisors group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be competing for the silver from SLV investors. They're going to be competing for silver of COMEX investors. And when it breaks the 200-day moving average, they're going to be competing for silver for the uh, tech investors in silver. Who in their right mind would sell any silver at that point? With all these people competing for getting their hands on some silver, there's no one left. J.P. Morgan surely is not going to start selling. They they took 10 years to buy up 1.2 billion ounces. Mm -hmm. So I, I think right now, this year, because of all these, the perfect storm in silver is here, this year is the time, and right now is the time to buy silver, get it in your own possession, and then watch the fireworks. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, I did miss, I misspoke about one thing. It wasn't 30 million ounces that was delivered by Bank of America. J.P. Morgan's, quote, customers took a lot more than that. Um, but it was 25 million that was delivered just by Bank of America in December, their largest delivery month ever. Um, yeah, it is, it's, there's so many reasons to buy physical silver. And the biggest reason is it's the bank killer. I mean, if you want to end these games of the – the fiat monetary system and the Rothschilds and the the central banking cabal and the you name it buy silver. That's the only thing that can kill them. Um, remember, like in the Hunt brothers situation in 1980, they had about 110 million ounces of physical silver. 110. Remember, J.P. Morgan now has amassed 1.2 billion, and they said the Hunt brothers were doing something illegal back then, and and basically locked them out of the market, changed the rules on the comics to drive the price down. We are now at less than one half of that price back then. It was $50 back then. It was $50 in 2011 when J.P. Morgan brought the price of silver from $20 to $50 and then slammed it back down to $20 by putting their guy Bill Daly in as uh, Barack Obama's chief of staff. That was all in one year. It was opera I called it Operation Silver Slam. And anybody who was in silver at that point, oh my God, we're going to break 50. And everybody got excited. That started an artificial bear market that we're still in today, truthfully. Now you, you could say, no, banks, we're in a bull. Okay. Okay. So we're in a bull. Bull, bear, it doesn't matter. It's, it's the amount of derivatives being allowed to be thrown at these markets. Rustam Benham, the head of the CFTC, did not lie when he said, 
Luckily, we have the tools to tamp down silver. A regulator has tools to control the price of silver so it strays from its fair market value. Welcome to America. And at the end of this month, no, end of next month, they'll be down to just one CFTC commissioner. Out of, they're supposed to have five. They are not refilling them. You know, a lot of people are saying, hey, Biden administration is not a real administration, so what does it matter? True, but they're at least pretending they're doing something. Uh, Don DeBerry Stump gave her notice a year and a half early. And yet on the CFTC website, believe it or not, they say Don DeBerry Stump will be fulfilling her five-year role at the CFTC. It's like they can't even do math. She's not, she hasn't even hit it four years by the time she retires, which is this April. It is insane how stupid they think we are and how stupid we know they are. This is the, the regulator the, of the CFTC. They're down to one, just one. Rustin Benham, and he's, he's just a spokesman for the banking cabal. Anyway, yes, I think it is the greatest time to buy silver. But at the same time, they can click a mouse and put zero to negative $40 like they did in oil. So, But silver is better than oil as an investor because you can take it in your own possession. You're not going to take 50 barrels of oil in your own possession unless you have a place to store it, right? Silver, you can get it and take it into your own possession. Scream at the regulators when they are derelict in doing their job. Expose J.P. Morgan and Bank of America as the criminals that they are. All this can be done by you today just by buying physical silver. Go to your local coin shop. Say, hey, I hear the price of silver is low. I want to buy as much as I can. Load up your car and take off. If you don't have a local coin shop, contact Andy Sheckman at Miles Franklin. Send him an email, Andy, A-N-D-Y, at milesfranklin.com, M-I-L-E-S-F-R-A-N-K-L-I-N.com, and say, I need physical silver. I like to get what he has in inventory because you never know when this game's just going to freeze up and end. But now, I mean, I, I love railing against price suppression of silver, but truthfully, it's the biggest gift to mankind. You can still get silver for under $10,000 an ounce. You can tell your grandkids, I remember watching this guy on YouTube years ago, and he said I should buy silver, and the price of silver is now $20,000 an ounce, and I bought it for under $30. It was unbelievable. It was like giving away free silver. Imagine buying gold at like $20 an ounce. And now it's at $1,800 an ounce. Silver is like that on steroids. On steroids. So here's where we are. As far as the tech traders, what are they doing? Bank of America is trying to keep that price down. Remember, all the Bank of America leases expire in one year. They either have to renew them or they have to pay back the silver. And we already saw in December that they paid back on the delivery date. So when's the next delivery month? February, March. Delivery month for silver, watch what Bank of America does. Watch how much silver they have to deliver. It's going to be shocking. Shocking, I tell you. And then, I mean, throughout all last year, they were writing one-year silver releases to the tune of 800 million ounces plus. According to Ted Butler, actually, no, it's according to the OCC data, Office of Comptroller of Currencies, who gets this data so they can regulate it, and they did nothing. Maybe, maybe Rustin Benham, the CFTC head, maybe his tools to tamp down the price is actually working with other regulators and central banks to continue to help rig the price and have everybody close your eyes. Hey, OCC, you're going to see something really odd, but we need it to tamp down the price of silver. And that is an increase in the amount of silver released by Bank of America to the tune of $18 billion or 800 plus million dollars, million ounces of physical silver that they borrowed. They borrowed, meaning they have to pay it back to J.P. Morgan. Now, there is talk that that uh, they did a deal, a little side deal. They colluded to say, okay, we're going to lose money in silver, but we're going to get this big long position in gold and it will net net turn out even. That's collusion. That's what <laughs> J.P. Morgan is, supposedly the CFTC or the DOJ is signed an agreement with them that if they commit any more crimes, they will be held account, held to account. And this is, that would be a crime. That would be collusion and price fixing and price setting. And you name it, there's so many crimes that that is. But our big problem is the CFTC is the one who's supposed to, they're supposed to be regulating this market. And instead, they're helping 
They're helping to set the price of silver. It's insane. So here's what the tech traders are looking at. The 50-day, the 100-day, 100 and 200-day moving average. You can see right here, the 50 and 100 have been breached. And the 200, because they've been suppressing for so long, it's below $25. It's at $24.32. So what happens when it hits this number? It should have little jumps, like these little spikes. You see the spikes that happen? This happens because all the tech traders who are short have to close out their short and go long. And in that situation, you need a seller. Last year, it was Bank of America. Bank of America stopped the Wall Street silver guys. Well, we know it was Private Advisors Group now, but the Wall Street silver guys literally have been able to talk to, to regular Joes like you and me and say, hey, there's something fishy going on. And it's more than fishy. And take advantage of it. You need to take advantage of this criminality. Because this is all about controlling the system and controlling you and your life. I love what's going on in Canada with JC. By, who would have thought the Canadians are the ones to break free and demand their freedom from a criminal government? It'll happen here too. Just wait till everybody loses their savings account, their checking account, their 401k. You think there'll be any anger at our politicians and our bankers? <laughs> it's coming. Just hang on. Speaking of anger, <laughs> California still has a man mass mandate. It expires tomorrow. Did you see anybody at the Super Bowl wearing a mask? There was nobody wearing a mask. And all these lefty, liberal, pathetic people, oh, you have to get vaccinated. You have to wear a mask. All of them. None of them were wearing masks. Check out this. Check this out. Here's, here's a, a, a fun list. We're in Hollywood. Who do we got here? We got Jay-Z. Where's the mask? Damon? Where's the mask? Is here? Where's the mask? LeBron. LeBron. Where's the mask? J-Lo. Ben Jennifer Affleck. Ben. They don't look like they're eating or drinking anything. Emma Smith. Yeah, where's Smith. the mask? There you go. There's my kind of celebrity. Yeah, now we're talking. I mean, where else would they be? It's crazy. My favorite, though, L.A. Mayor. This is the guy who's been screaming, you have to wear a mask. You have to wear a mask. And the classic, Ellen DeGeneres, the, the lefty of all lefties. No mask, but she requires everyone in her audience to wear a mask. Anyway, that's it. The, uh, the California mandate expires tomorrow. And, I mean, it's hard to believe, but yeah, I live in Northern California. They still require a mask when you walk into a restaurant. It's insane. And then you sit down and you take off your mask. Well, all this bullshit is gone tomorrow. Well, they're going to say, oh, uh, if you're unvaccinated, you have to wear a mask. Um, are they going to be checking papers like in Nazi Germany? I don't think so. It's insane. The whole thing was insane. Thank God it's over. And the politicians need to be held to account for what they did, in my opinion. Politicians, the pharmaceutical companies, oh, my God. I mean, they are literally, Fauci needs to be in prison forever, if you ask me. Anyway. That's it on the Road to Ruta. This is Big Swear. Join the Road to Ruta. Get all the inside information, the backdoor information. Uh, find out what's going on in silver in Theta. Theta, Theta Fuel, Theta Drop. What's the next Theta? There's going to be another one. You know it at some point. And bravo for those of you who got in early. If you still haven't gotten in, it is still way early. Still way early. Theta is a tech company. It's, it's, it has very little to do with cryptocurrency, if you ask me. Anyway, we're giving away 50 T fuel loaded on a paper wallet for every one year membership. Go check it out. Go to roadrooter.com, hit subscribe today, and you get a free, not free, you get $299. You get a full one year subscription to all the back backdoor information, the private road, and uh, we will send you 50 T fuel. We at one point we were sending out 0.1 Bitcoin. That's now worth what? $4,200. And we're sending, we're sending out one very, now worth $80, $90. Very will be <laughs> very interesting. Um, in a de if everything crashes in a decentralized world, patents won't even matter. But if the regulators do come in, patents will matter. It's, it's very complicated. And nobody wants to be the first to sign up with them. So we'll see how that goes. It's, it's my hedge against, uh, against other cryptos not falling in line with what uh, 
the SEC wants. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This is Big Swear, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.